The next time you head out to enjoy cocktails, don't be afraid to be bold and break the rules. The Mid-Autumn Harvest Moon Festival is being celebrated with a cocktail feast here in New York, and Macau Trading Company principal bartender Euros Milkovic joins us now with a few tasty cocktails to take our taste buds outside the box. Hi, Euros. Welcome. Great to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. First, tell us about the Harvest Moon Festival. Where is it typically celebrated? Uh, Harvest Moon Festival is one of the biggest fest festivals in the uh, uh, Asian calendar. It's, uh, it's very popular in um, China and Vietnam, and it dates back 3,000 years. And it's basically a celebration of a full moon and uh, brings families together for drinks and food. Fantastic. Sounds like a great uh, excuse to have a cocktail yeah. and an Asian-inspired one at that. So is the whole trend in Asian food that now moving over into cocktails? Exactly. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of flavors that chefs chef are using in uh, Asian food, not just Chinese, Japanese, like they're really popular, but also Macanese, uh, Vietnamese. Uh, all these flavors, uh, we... We use them together and we create the cocktails like like something like a ginger, like winter spices, uh, Thai basil. Um, Sounds pomegranate. fantastic. I love all of those spices, so I can't wait to get into these uh, into these drinks. Tell us about the first one. You call it the Bashful Maiden? Is Bashful that right? Maiden, yes, that's correct. What's in that one? Bashful, Bashful Maiden is um, made with uh, Bombay Sapphire East Gin uh, that's been infused with uh, Thai lemongrass and uh, black peppercorn from Vietnam. And that's what you're making here? Yes, that's, cor that's correct. Uh... We're going to be, uh, we're mixing it with uh, melon puree, mm -hmm. uh, Saint Germain elderflower liqueur, uh, lime, rum based lime cordial velvet falernum, mm -hmm. and the lemon juice. Is that just pure lemon juice or does that have some? It, it's a fresh lemon juice. A fresh lemon juice, okay, yes. great. And you just shake it up? We shake it up and we serve it up with uh, mint spring. And that looks delicious. And we're so lucky to actually have one right here, right? Is this it? Uh, that, cheers. That's it. Let's take that's a cheers. taste. The Bashful Maiden. Mmm. That's delicious. Thank I you. love the little. The little kick of spice, you the know? The little kick of spice, yeah. of black, black peppercorn. And, and the black, yeah. Mm, I might have to have another little soap. Mm. But also the citrus from a lemongrass. Love it. That's what, did you make okay. this drink yourself? Is this your These are, these are Macau, Macau Train Company. Macau, right? Okay, great. Now, you also have something called the Matahari, which takes cognac, which is traditionally something that you sip alone, right? And uses it in a mixed drink. People tend to sip cognac alone, but actually cognac has been used um, for the fir first cocktail that ever published. One of the first cocktails that ever been published is uh, Sazerac, and the cognac was base spirit. Uh, during the time it got lost, but right now it's getting on popularity since we're going into um, fall season right now. We need uh, bold flavors. People tend to drink like something that, that, that's heavier, that's heavier. warmer, that you know. And here you are, making, with so the, tell us what goes into the Matahari. We're getting racier. We went from the Bashful Maid into the Matahari. Matahari. <laughs> yes. Uh, it uses Douce uh, uh, VSOP cognac okay. with a fresh pomegranate juice that I'm putting right now. Okay. Lemon juice, uh, le chai infused sweet vermouth with the winter spices, cinnamon, cardamom, cloves. And that and was a cognac you just put in. That's right? a Doucet yeah. cognac, yes. And a little sugar. And a little sugar. How and much then, sugar? Uh, like half an ounce of sugar, half just like to, to balance the flavors out. And then you shake it up a little bit. We shake it up a little bit. Is this going to have a stronger we, kick, a stronger taste? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Can't wait to give it a try. And here you go. Mmm, look at that. And that's what we have right here. What do you garnish that with? That looks uh, lovely. Dry rosebuds. Oh, nice. Are you supposed to actually eat the rosebuds, or that's just for fun? It's just for fun. I mean, you can eat them; like they're edible, but they don't—they taste like a dry. Cheers. Mmm. What do you think about cognac? Love that. You know, I've never had cognac in a mixed drink before, and I like it. I really like it. It's very—it's very good. Yeah. No, this is definitely especially for the season coming. A like, substantial drink. Absolutely. Love it. Well, thank you so much. Thank and you so much, happy Tanya. Moon, happy Harvest Moon Festival happy Harvest tonight. Moon Fest <laughs> Have a great time. And we're celebrating also uh, Lucky Rice Festival. It's going to be at the Bowery Hotel tonight at 9 p.m. until uh, until midnight. Fantastic. And Macau Trading Company is going to be participating. So sounds see you like there. a great time. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Take thank care. You.